interpretive coding. I don't know what to write. Uh, like these kind of things, you I'm sure you guys must have seen. So it's not very tough to kind of execute something like this. Uh, and obviously, you can do a lot. Like people have done all these kinds of incre incredible ferns, and you know, like I'm sure there is some sort of usage for it in game development and things as well. Uh, but I was sort of wondering why uh, why do we do this and like. Why the hell, kind of. <laughs> but you know, the thing is, why the hell not? So, uh, so these are some uh, some really interesting facts about the concept of recursion, and the very brilliant thing about it is, it it ranges not just in math, but it also goes into linguistics, and very very commonly in art, which we we may or may not have seen around us as well. Uh, popularly also known as uh, this Droste. I don't know how to pronounce this Droste effect. Or uh, uh, mise mise abim uh, Raya, maybe you know how to pronounce this, and I don't know how you tell us though. Um, where where there's like this, the thing that you're representing gets re-represented within that. Uh, thank you within the picture. So, for example, uh, in this uh, in this image, you see that she's holding the cocoa, and she's like she's there in the picture, and she's there in the picture, like. Uh, hey, thank you so much. Uh, and um, uh, this kind of, uh, I think the another very common one is the one with the, uh, with that image of that butter image, like land of butter or something it's called. I don't know. Some of you might have seen that. Let me see if I can find it on, like on the internet. Uh, Ah, land of lakes. Yeah, that was fast. Kushal, you are really, really fast. So, uh, oops, land of lakes, butter. Um, where uh, very problematic image, but like uh, <laughs> she's holding the butter, the same block of butter, and then you know it goes in and in and in. So, so that's what I found that the relevance and the recurrence. <laughs> the recurrence is uh, is fairly fairly common and uh, we we see it quite a bit around us and of course uh, you know it's very common in nature as well like to see and i'm sure we've all seen these like mandel brought and fractal kind of images around i think abhinay did a very beautiful set uh, of 3d ones i think some months back with uh, something called julia set which is also part of a similar sort of idea of recurring fractals uh, and uh, I don't know if you guys saw that uh, TV series Devs. They made a whole room that looks like this uh, Sierpinski uh, carpet as well. So some like some exciting possibilities. And where I was really interested, uh, which I found out today as well, that uh, recursion is very very sort of a very important term in uh, language as well, uh, where. Uh, Oh, you should. It's a really good. I mean, I liked it a lot. It was quite a good show. Um, SP. Uh, it was on. I saw it on Hotstar. Okay, I didn't like. Yeah, the spelling's right. Yeah. Um. So, uh, so um, it's a very complex, uh, sort of a. Uh, an idea about uh, language but to think of it simply is, and this example is really nice where they say uh, Dorothy thinks witches are dangerous so witches are dangerous is already a sentence and you added a word and a noun to it so it's noun word noun uh, and then uh, word and then the, I think this is the adjective so uh, similarly like it could become Dorothy 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 thinks that Toto suspects that Tidman said that so there is this uh, self-referencing within it and basically that is uh, what we'll do today it's uh, oh yes <laughs> recursive humor i mean uh, they've kind of used it now in in uh, in uh, uh, science and technology books where like uh, they'll put a reference for recursion and then say see recursion uh, perhaps i don't know like maybe people who who do stand up have a way of like bringing that reference back I, I don't know if if it could be really uh like mapped so accurately to that uh, this is also a very popular image you may have seen around uh, again uh, it's the sapinski triangle uh, 
i don't know if we'll be able to make this today but let's see where it goes like as you can see i have not even opened p5js currently so um oh wait i forgot my pen hold on sorry so yeah so this is uh, what we we were talking about so i just oh and also uh, if you guys remember babushka dolls from when we were little uh, i'm sure you were a young person in the 90s you have and spoke like there was some english spoken at your home there was a reference of some russian materials in your home like books i don't know there were those 5 rupee books we used to get which were yeah so so this is also kind of recursive in that sense uh, so now i'll just like trustily open my paint app <laughs> uh because why not so um so consider it in terms of a very simple uh, format that we'll try that uh we'll just make a circle and uh, we will use a simple rule and say that let the circle be a, just a tiny bit smaller and 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 then we'll repeat that same format once to the left and once to the right now obviously when you are doing something that's repeating itself uh, <laughs> uh it implicitly will try to constantly repeat itself so you will be stuck in an infinite loop now obviously your computer is not so clever to uh, know that it needs to stop uh, so in context of that uh, you'll just have to put a simple rule that you say that hey do this uh, you know maybe you say do this 10 times or you say that do it until you reach a little circle which is just say like 2 pixels why uh, in diameter or something like that that could be the sort of uh, easy way to kind of uh, limit that recursion uh, so we'll quickly jump into p5 uh, this will use probably we'll just use circle and line today and um, it will use we will use a bit of a custom function but it's don't don't be too scared of it it's it's not going to be too too big a deal so we'll just uh, use whatever is our uh, setup here in the canvas i have to be a sincere person and log in um okay um so how how we can think about it is that uh, one can just like easily draw a circle which is in the center with like say 100 uh, as or maybe even um 250 as the radius uh, perhaps we don't want the fill to see this particular thing going um and then uh, one could just put this as a function on its own um it it typically runs like an r or more but that's fine i mean the recording's always there so you can uh, pick up wherever you left off depending on how much kushal and himanshu push me sometimes i i do do it a little longer <laughs> uh so uh, yeah so what we could do is quite simply um make a little function that says uh draw circle and then i want to give it an x location a y location and a diameter and i'll just uh add this circle here the reason i'm doing this is not because uh i just want to like you know annoy you but that now you'll see implicitly how it works in this particular context so what i've just done is i said that okay we'll just make a custom function which allows you to put an x y and a, a diameter so i mean which is not very different from putting in a circle but uh, maybe when your your artwork becomes a bit more cool a uh, bit, bit more complex you could you know you may uh, see the sense of using this hello how are you um so i know it's been it's been uh, uh, annoyingly long so we'll just uh, we'll just revert back to that same thing now all i've done is i just took the same draw circle and instead of the x y and the d i just added a, num a bunch of numbers now this could be anything now if i wanted i could make this like 10 um 
10 100 so this would give me another circle which was at 10 10 100 uh, or you know so you get the basic idea right so now so I'm running this basic draw loop now uh, but and the draw loop is this sort of not draw loop I'm sorry this draw circle um, function but uh, what would happen if I made the draw circle function sit inside the draw fun draw circle function so already you see that I'm repeating uh, the rules for it within the rule for it is that sort of understandable I don't know, nobody's responding. Okay. So, yeah. Uh huh, okay. Um, yes, yeah, recursion. Um, so, let's see what happens when we do this. Uh, okay. So, obviously, now as I explained to you that we need to have a limit. So, it's already told me that there's an error that, you know, dude, you're just doing this too many times. So, just like, like, you know kind of take a chill pill uh okay wait so we were just making the draw loop here right uh i mean not the draw loop i, I just sorry i should, maybe i should just call it something else i'll call it um make circle then that'll be easier i made this function called make circle and in that i just gave one simple rule i told it that if somebody gives you uh these arguments x y and uh, d in numbers you make a circle for me based on those particular arguments so uh, this gave me this circle i could have made this anything i could have said uh, as i mentioned to you i could have said 10 10 uh, 5 or 4 or whatever so it would have given me a, like a little tiny little circle here as well so uh, in in that context it's a very uh, this is a very simple thing that we've done right now that we've just said okay Pardon me. Uh, make a circle at this particular point. So what I was trying to explain was that when we were looking at this diagram, I, I just gave it a rule that uh, you make a circle and then you make the circle again and you make the circle again, you make the circle again. I just added one extra rule. I said that every time you draw that circle, you make the radius a bit smaller. Like you kind of, maybe you half it or you, you know, like you third it every single time. So say if I, so like if we go half because my math is really bad. So say for example, if this was a circle with a radius of 10 and I told it to half it, then this became 5, this becomes, and then what does this become? 0.25 and so on. Uh, so, so we then need to uh, tell it to stop at a certain point. So then I could say that at a certain, is this correct? Is my math right? I don't know. Uh, so at this point, just stop, stop uh, you making this rule. Okay, so uh, right now I don't have any rule of that sort here. I just said just make the circle. But what would happen if I just took the same rule and I put it with, within the rule, right? So which is when when we uh, played out this particular code, it threw an error. It said that okay, uh, you know it can only do it so many times. Uh, so uh, what? And even if I did it with, say, suppose, um, as I was saying, we would half it. So, say, a divide by 2, for example. So, now you see that they are becoming smaller and smaller. Uh, but it's still giving me this error. It's saying that, you know, boss, what you're doing is not correct. You know, get a life, like, be a little bit more uh, considerate to me as a computer. So, I would say that, okay, uh, if the D is, uh, D, which is the diameter, is greater than uh, 2, you keep doing this rule so i'm just giving it a bit of a uh, bit of a uh, like a breather shall we say so so now that kind of error has gone away uh, but this is <laughs> but this is still not um, this is still not where we want it to be uh, what we saw here what we were trying to do is to kind of make the circles on both ends and then make them a bit smaller and smaller um oh wait i wanted to add these links here so that people can um if you joined in a bit later i was just kind of like running through some interesting references uh, around the 
the word recursion and the particular one that you you should all see is the main link which includes quarantine sourdough bread so um so we'll go back here and then uh, we say okay in the x direction uh, you make it uh, you make it go like say by a certain amount so since we already have like uh, d as a function maybe i'll do like uh, divided by say like 10 or whatever oops what did i do oh sorry sorry so you can see it's like moving uh, towards the right uh, and uh, yay okay um or if i just kept it d then it was so big that it's like moving out of the screen right so i'll just maybe like keep it at a fourth i don't know uh, or uh, okay maybe uh, a third okay that looks a little bit better <clears throat> uh, and then i wanted to go minus as well so i could just very easily uh, repeat the code and put a minus instead of a plus so now you see exactly what we were doing now it started to like make this unit it makes one unit and then it makes these little two units and then within that it keeps repeating that whole rule that we put and it only repeats the rule until uh, the diameter of the uh, of the of the circle is 